Hey guys, what is up? This is Manny, not Aaron or Ninja Robot, as you guys may have noticed by the first intro in this video. Um, as you guys would have noticed, I'm part of Audix Films, or it's just a channel dedicated to Search and Destroy gameplay, basically. But I'll get into that later. First of all, I would like to thank Aaron for allowing me to post this video and commentary on his channel. That's really cool of him. He's done uh, really well recent recently with uh, getting his channel recognized and getting partnered and all that cool stuff, so congratulations on that, man. You've done really fucking well, since we both kind of started out around the same time, I think in terms of posting commentary, but um, I'm going to tell you about myself just a little bit first and I'll get into Pub Stomp a little bit too. He's the other guy that uh, is a part of this channel, so we do this together and he's in this game as you'll see in this uh, once a little menu pulls up, pops up. Yeah, it's him there. So yep, yeah, uh, basically a little bit about me. I'm a 20 year old uh, business student in Canada. I'm not going to go too, many more, too much more specifics than that. I know, make fun of me because I'm Canadian. Feel free. It happens all the fucking time. I'm not going to stop you now. Um, basically what I like to do in my, in my free time is play games like this, Call of Duty, anything, you know, that I find fun. Sometimes I'll play FIFA, sometimes I'll play NHL, laugh at me because I'm Canadian once again, feel free. Um, I'll play things like, I like story mode games too, so I play Portal and stuff like that. I haven't posted videos for anything other than Call of Duty and Minecraft really, but, and even Minecraft has been a great focus, just mostly Call of Duty because that's what I'm most familiar with and that's what I think people are most interested in, and that's what I like posting about. So that's uh, what I've been doing. And basically, Pup Stomp is mostly the same way. Less sports games, and plays less sports games than I do. Likes things like Skyrim and all that. Dedicate a lot of time to Skyrim. And uh, also, I've been a Call of Duty fan for a long time. And I'll just kind of tell you how I got started in all this. Like, one of the like most bizarre things is how people get kind of get into this in the first place. And my story's a little bit different than most people because I started making videos a long time ago. Not necessarily commentary because it was it was literally non-existent when I started making videos. Because when I started, a dazzle was fucking good quality. And if you guys have been for, around for a while, you'll know that dazzles fucking suck. And I got rid of that a long time ago. Made a couple of upgrades since then. So, back when I started making videos, I was actually playing Call of Duty 4. And that was uh, just on the PC, so it was really bad because we didn't know at the time. And this wasn't with Andrew. I was uh, playing with another guy at the time. That, and actually the guy I started with this channel initially, but I won't get into that. But uh, I started recording on COD 4 with basically fraps, didn't even use the console recorder, which is really good. And uh, made, tried to make a, like a, a tritage at one point with a, friend, a couple friends of mine. It never worked out, but you know, we really enjoyed that game, and that's basically how it all started, kind of, with, with Call of Duty anyway. And then in World at War, I got my dazzle because I saw montages like Zergriz's, and that was actually pretty much the only one I saw at the time. And maybe, yeah, I can't remember anyone else. But... At the time, I was starting to make my first montage. I believe Hutch released his a few days earlier. And in my opinion, like, his was the best at that time. Like, I don't think Zergriz had his World of War montage out yet, which is also a really good one. But um, Hutch was, like, the one I was competing with. And he, his had, like, 10,000 views after a while. I was like, holy shit, this video is doing really fucking well. And you think now that 10,000 views isn't that much? Well, at the time, it was. I remember it was a lot of fucking views at that time. And I didn't end up getting to the, the view count he did, and that's probably why where I am now. <laughs> I'm still a really small channel, only about 400, 400, uh, why did I say 400,000? 400 subscribers, not 400,000. Just keep thinking of, uh, of Hutch and how many subscribers he has now. I'm just blown away. Either way, so that's kind of how I started. I just I did this so I could make montages. That's about it. So. Um, now I've kind of expanded basically because the montage making process is so slow and I know that's hard to understand for a lot of you but the getting your own clips, editing them and finding music for everything and coordinating all the 3D's and all the text you need to do takes a long time and I've tried a couple times and only been successful like twice so um, that's where I am now and I'm currently still trying to sit on a project and get that done eventually but um, that's kind of how I got started. I got started in the earlier days of Call of Duty, before commentary was even popular, making montages, when those were really popular. And they still are now. Those aren't going to die down. But um, that's where I am now. Basically, I just got uh, tired of seeing my PVR sitting around not being used, and I started you know, making commentary like many other people were at the time, because I started when Black Ops was out, uh, about midway through the release of that, like mid through its lifespan. So about three or four months after that, that game came out. But that's where I am now. So I'm making search for my commentary. Um, try to do tips every once in a while because I believe the knowledge I have can be shared and is useful to many people. And hopefully that's enough information for you to figure out whether or not my channel is for you. And I'm not going to beg you to come there, but if you feel free, uh, feel free to come there. And uh, if you think it's suitable for you, I'd love if you came along. 
So that pretty much wraps this one up, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed what I talked about. A little, knew a little bit about, you know a little bit about me now, now that I still can't speak. And uh, yeah, feel free to check out the annotations at the end of the video to a couple other videos of mine, as well as the subscribe button in the top right. So thank you once again, Aaron, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.